Day two at the big site done. That was pretty cool. So uh, I got to shoot a lot of footage for uh, <laughs> the job at hand. And after the job was done, I stuck around and uh, checked out a lot of the food and stuff on sale. On sale, on show. On show. It's really cool because. Um, Without me needing to say anything, just my face made everyone assume I was a foreign bio or something. So they were like, eat this, eat this, try this, try this, eat this. And I was like, yeah, 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 hells yeah. Nom, 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 nom. And the few people who asked me, so, ah, who do you import for? I was like, no, I'm not an import. I'm a, I'm a photographer, videographer, designer based in Japan. They're like, oh, cool. Well, give me a business card anyway. So. You know, that's pretty cool. Ran out of business cards, which, you know, you never know. The uh, Japan community on Google+, Plus, which I was an active contributor to until this morning when I wanted to contribute and found myself banned. I'm assuming the administrator thought my original content was spam because I only posted one link of each thing though my content is fairly regular. That or they're using the spam rules against the fact that my original content always showed in Japan that they don't like to post. My posts are not really up to the general content. I mean I don't glorify geisha and think I'm a samurai and like prepubescent animated girls. I know I don't really post the content they like, I post the truth about Japan so I can understand why people living in the dream world might be offended. I went to the embassy and uh, I picked up this. Yeah, I see this. There you go. The uh, Green Mamba, South African passport. The reason we call it the Green Mamba is because it bites you whenever you try to travel anywhere. Uh, I don't know how it is right now, back home, to be honest. But uh, back in the day, Siphon Passport was damn easy to counterfeit. And so everybody did. And it was cheap to counterfeit. And so everybody did. And back then, South Africa could get into Commonwealth countries and whatnot pretty easily. And the passport and the South African passport was pretty trusted. And it turns out, like those crazy ass terrorists on the London bombing and some other terrorists somewhere else and whatnot, they had South African passports. And as a result, all the countries we're supposedly allied with hate us and require us to pay really, really expensive visas to do anything. Suited up again today for the Dai Job Career Fair. It was pretty cool. Um, I have to send an email, but I've got a meeting at the company whom I did the work in Ibaraki for, again. They're actively looking for videography. You know, now that I've still got some cash coming in from, uh, what you call it? Uh, hello work. I might even uh, say, hey look, you know what? Give me an internship for a month, let me prove it to you. Let me prove to you that I've got more than enough of the skills that you need. See how that goes. So, uh, go to that meeting, meet with the boss this time, and uh, see how it goes. Check it out, I'm, walk about, I'm about to walk over a light. Bang! I walked over a light. I'm special.
don't have a car. Kind of drift out here in the city. Gotta do something. So. I'm doing this until I get my car back and find myself somewhere to slide it. Like me, I wanna go back to the mountains, dude. I really want to go back to the mountains. Any mountains, just anywhere. Just not here. I'm at a place in Nico Yokocho again. <laughs> See how sneaky these guys are. Look at how sneaky this is. Right? It looks like a really, really big tankard, right? It only comes up that high. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. <laughs> sneaky. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ